Hello, and welcome to the show. We are here today on Beam NG Tribe with a rather fun, well, potentially fun challenge, an interesting challenge, hopefully won't get too frustrating. Uh, this is Drive Up. The idea is simple. We start off here, and we are going to try and get up there. I mean, it's mad car parkour, essentially. It's... Is it going up? Is that the game at the moment that you have to try and climb? There's been a few games over the years that have had this uh, kind of idea of just sort of keep climbing and up and up and up, and it's a mad. This is just a mad spiral climb. Uh, so I'm going to have a go with this. Uh, now the vehicle that I have chosen is not the most suitable vehicle. We've got to make it a little bit interesting. This is the Mistral. It is essentially. Well, it's the Mitsubishi Mirage Cyborg style car. Uh, it's kind of a covert rival. I've gone for the uh, sort of. Uh, what is it, the 1600 Rally kit cars uh, style version. So we've got a bit of ground clearance for going over bumps. This course doesn't need full-on rally cars. It doesn't need full-on rock crawlers, uh, as you will see as we go along. Um, but it is front-wheel drive, so I've made a little bit more of a challenge for myself here, uh, rather than have all-wheel drive. So, you know, small, nimble is good, because you're going to need the steering lock, you're going to need the turning circle. All-wheel drive is definitely preferable. Um, you need a bit of ground clearance, of course, for stuff like this. Uh, however, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm making myself a little bit of a challenge by going for a front-wheel drive vehicle. I don't want to go something just a little bit different. I've not driven before. Oh, that's a jump. Uh, forgot about that. We are going to need a run-up for this. Oh, okay. Uh, now, I'm going to try and not cheat too much on this. The point of this map and the point of this kind of challenge is uh, if you fall off, oh, like this, for example. I need more speed on that part. I was too busy commentating for what I was doing. So you fall off like this. You're not really... Basically, that was not worthwhile resetting. You're not really supposed to reset on the run. Uh, you can reset your car to repair damage, but you're supposed to start at the bottom and try again. Or if you fall off and land on a lower bit, you can carry on from there with a like a reset in place. But you're not supposed to just kind of reset in, in position. Now, I'm going to slightly ignore that for the sake of the video. Uh, for the simple fact that if I didn't cheat, I would cut out the bit of me getting back to the point where I fell off anyway. So... Why bother wasting my own time on this? Maybe I'll do a stream on this one day, see if I can do it legit. Maybe I will do it legit in this video. I don't know. I'm doubting it, as I've already fallen off. Uh, <laughs> we, will, we will see. You'll get the idea, though, as we go along. Now, the only modification I've done to this car from the spec that it comes with is removed the front bumper. Just because it's going to get caught. It's quite a low... I mean, I've used, I'm using the asphalt spec of car. Because we're not actually on dirt here, so I wanted slick tyres. Um, although maybe maybe the extra sidewall of an off-road tyre would have been a good idea. Um, oh, we have bun punched a tyre. Uh, now, you are... So this... Resetting like that would not be cheating, uh, according to the map. Uh, if you damage the car, you're allowed to reset. Um, it's just if you fall off, you're not allowed to like reset yourself. To, there's no like save points. Like on the, the car parkour stuff I've done in the past, uh, there's no real save points on this. The challenge is to try and do it all in, in one go. Uh, there's a couple of little bits of grabby scenery, but, you know, you, you figure it out. It's, it's Considering what we're driving on is this kind of mishmash of stuff. Oh, this bit here is always horrible. Uh, right. Okay, we kind of got to flop over the edge, get the car. Here we go. That will do. Uh, so, yeah, the downside I got for this car here, being front-wheel drive, is if we get ourselves... In awkward, we can get our car stuck in a little bit awkward positions if we aren't too careful, uh, because well, you know, the rear wheels just kind of follow along. If we've got the <laughs> the front wheels aren't connected, aren't, aren't making contact properly, we could be in trouble. I don't know how much speed we need for this jump. I'm going to guess we need a decent amount, Oy, and then onto the brakes we go. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we've dented the front up a little bit. It's nothing, nothing too bad. We'll get away with a couple of dents on the vehicle. Now we're across the little concretey bits. Uh, now you've got two options on this. I have done the first bit of the course a couple of times. Uh, you've got, yeah, I'm going down here. We've got to get up the other side. Oi, okay, that's fine. You need a little bit of momentum to climb up. Of course, driving this, doing this with a front-wheel drive car, and while it's a powerful car, it's not really got the torque. Um, you know, it's a rally car at the end of the day. It's not really designed for this. Uh, momentum is actually quite important. I've got to keep a bit of momentum going because if we completely stall out, we are going to struggle to get it going again. You know, a big powerful D-series or a rock crawler or a rock bouncer or something like that has the torque to get going and the traction to get going from anywhere. This won't uh, necessarily. I mean, it is light. That is a plus point. Lightness is good for all of this. It is we are relatively light, but... Uh, I've got to try and keep up momentum. I feel like that's what's going to screw me at some point, is going to be 
momentum. Uh, we're going to go a bit too slow and get stuck. Don't know how fast I need for these jumps. I don't want to go too fast because I don't want to overshoot. Uh, we need a decent amount of speed here. Looks like the landing zone up here is a bit... Okay, there's, there's plenty of space on there. If you go a bit too fast, you'll have enough room to slow down. A plus point, of course, with a rally car. Big brakes on this one. Slick tyres, good for... You need to stop. It'll stop in a hurry. So far, so good. So far, the front-wheel drive, not really been a problem. This section... I mean, again, you can't go in a completely low-slung track car across here, but well, all the bits that I've done so far are doable with normal road suspension. Rally suspension helps a little bit for stuff like this, because uh, there's this sort of bounce up there that, that uh, is an issue. And that's why I got rid of the front bumper, just so it doesn't get caught and, and sort of fold under the car. Uh, into the tube we go. Oh, don't flip the car. Through here, a little bit wonky. Uh, this bit, we're going to need a bit of welly. There we go, use the momentum, and climb, 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 nicely does it. Well done, vehicle! It all is going fairly well. This part, don't get carried away. Uh, our engine might get starved of oil just because we are at silly angles. Though I would have thought a rally car would have had a dry sump system, but never mind. Maybe, ooh, maybe how the mods may do it. Regardless, it's unlikely to be a problem if the engine blows, we'll just reset. Because it's not, this is not really a challenge about the damage on the, I mean, if you want to play extreme hardcore mode, I guess you could try and do it uh, <laughs> with, without, without any resets if, if things break. Uh, this is, this is one of those, you can torture yourself as much as you want uh, with this one. You can play it super strict, super infuriating. I'm not the biggest fan of that style of game, personally. Um, I don't get much enjoyment out of them. Uh, but, yeah, if you want to go for those rule sets, you absolutely can. Uh, I mean, so far, we haven't actually cheated. So, <laughs> so far, so good on this. Uh, this section's a bit narrow. You wouldn't want a big car up here. That's what, This is not a big car. This is a relatively, as far as vehicles go in beam, this is a pretty small vehicle. You would not want a big car there. All right, into the tunnel we go. Oh, there is no grip in that. that. Why is there no grip in the tunnel? I'm going to have to try and give it a bit of welly going on in here. I, mean, I don't have much space to accelerate in. All right, go. Go. Can we fight? Why was this so slippy at the entrance? I mean, that's fine. We can give it some welly uh, to get it up here. Oh, God, it's very... This is a very strange tube. Why is this tube so weird? It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're out the other side. Oh, God. It, it's like the dismounts from the tube. It gets a bit weird. Uh, that's that's okay, though. All right. We are on to some... Please have traction. <laughs> Please have some grip. There we go. Some grip is had on this part. Okay, containers. Well, this shouldn't be too bad. Don't Unless there's any really funky angles for me to deal with. Uh, again, it's a bit narrow, just got to be a bit patient. The trick, the trick is, and it, it takes all of my concentration, well, my concentration, you want to go quickly, but going quickly is just a death sentence on something like this. You want to be, it, it's a, it's slow and steady will win the race here. Uh, fast will just leave you falling off the map. Uh, is there a bump? There's a little bit of a bump, but we've got the ground clearance. We're fighting all that. Looks like a jump. Go! Ooh! Okay. Now, sometimes you do need the speed. Is this a jump? Actually, now I'm not sure. Is this a jump? No. That look. Okay, I'm gonna go for. A, I'm gonna get again a little bit more momentum. It's difficult to know. I'm, I've not got this far up um, before, so I don't quite know what's a jump and what isn't a jump uh, around here. This is fine. We can go across these sort of roll. Well, I say rollers. They don't actually. They don't actually do anything. Uh, up some stairs again no big problems with this car is there jump oh there's a jump coming up yeah well, at this point here i can kind of look a bit further forward and see what we've got that's going to need some welly that's going to need some okay it's got two jumps coming up so we're jumping off some big picnic benches do we reckon we'll get the acceleration yeah we're, we're quite a quick car so we should have enough speed to do that oh yeah easy okay boot it and jump nicely done don't think this was a jump uh right, we'll get a bit of air time that's fine we are up uh Ooh, what have we got coming up here? That, oh, what we, I don't know what, we're driving on some solar panels afterwards, I don't know what we're driving on, but that looks awkward. Uh, it looks more awkward, oh, like massive sign, it looks more awkward than the containers. There's somewhat quite funky angles coming up. And this lot here, uh, maybe they're not too bad, how much traction do we, what is the traction level of signs? That, that is a question I never thought I'd ask, but it is an important one. Uh, now, this bit here, we've got one at a really jaunty angle. Right, jump down. Go, 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 go. Okay, we've got enough grip to get away with it. We've got enough grip uh, to 
survive these slight iffy moments, which, is, which I like. I'm glad to see. This is a bit of a narrow turning. That's fine. Now, will we have the grip to climb here? It's low speed. I oh, know we're fine. We're fine. I was worried because we've got no momentum going up there, but the front wheel drive uh, cyborg is far away. I know it's called a Mistral, but I will always call it a cyborg. Oh, this looks like some more jumps. Uh, I don't know if we had a good enough run up. How much speed do we reckon we need for this? Oh, we're a long way up. <laughs> we can go a long way... Well, I would reset, but you would end up going a long way back. It gets more and more nerve-wracking when you get up here. Uh, I mean, I said, haven't cheated yet. Don't want to have to cheat. Uh, right, Cyborg. Uh, can we do this from here? Oh, we're just going to spin the wheels. Uh, right, go. Okay, the jump's actually quite big. So you get quite a lot of air time. It's quite a big sort of kicker to get the car in the air. That's fine. That's all good. Uh, bumps on here are a little bit nerve-wracking, but we are fine. Up on the pipe, we can kind of just... Oh, don't roll. We can kind of just slide off there. Oh, God, there's a gap there. Did not realise. Oh, there's another gap up here. Okay, well, we punched a tyre on a gap, but uh, that's fine. We are allowed to... Again, still not cheated, technically. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how far I'm going to get before we do. Can I bump up that? Yes, we can. Now you see why I got rid of the front bumper. Uh... On like a big off-roady truck, you've got no issues, but if you're going to go for something a little bit sillier like this, you're going to want to get rid of the front bumper, uh, just so you don't get caught on things. The rally car is more than capable. I mean, maybe the off-road spec would have been... Maybe the off-road suspension with slick tyres would have been the way to go, uh, just for that little bit more ride height, but we've not had any real issues. That's very narrow. This is very wobbly, but we are all okay over here. Now we're onto some giant girders. That shouldn't be a problem. For us, again, it's just straightforward driving. We've got the steering lock. I think this might have, like, quick... You probably want the quick steering... Uh, steering rack. There you go. Quick ratio or whatever that you find on, often on the rally cars. Because uh, you get a... This is all about agility, this course. It's all about getting through here. This looks quite steep. I'm a little worried about us struggling... Being front-wheel drive, I'm a little worried about us struggling. Oh, come on. Come on, cyborg. Well done. Okay, no, we're good. We are. It, it, it really wants to pull me off the side at the moment. It's desperately trying to pull me left. Uh, now, up we go. We are climbing nicely. Can we get a good dismount from here? We do. Nicely done. Okay, we are heading towards a castle. We can go left or right. Does it matter? Is any route more difficult? I don't know. We are going to go right. Uh, although, this does look like a steeper climb for us. Uh, no, no, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, onwards. Through the battlements, if you like. Uh, I'm going to presume... Like, I presume this is, like, the castle in the Italy map. Like, this is all, like, assets from other maps. Uh, it is... Like, you might be looking at this. It is very hodgepodge sort of stuck together. Um, but that is, like, the game, I believe. I've not I've not played it. I have just seen it on Steam. Uh, which is kind of just, like, a hodgepodge of random assets going up into the sky. So it's actually very <laughs> accurate. Oh, has this got some slight water on it? That might not be great on my slick tyres going on here. I'm going to have to be a little bit mindful. I presume we go this way, right? Uh, yeah, okay, we go up into that distance part. There definitely... Definitely looks like a water effect on here, so there's maybe not as much grip on this part. There's definitely something there, so let's not take any liberties with the car. We are out of there. That's fine. Now, what have we got? Okay, we've got the split ramp part. That should be fine for us. Again, we've not, not got bench steering. Uh, we are a nice, agile car. We've got the traction to do this. We do. Nicely done. Steering is still straight. Don't do... I'm, I am terrible for wanting to make corrections, even though I don't need corrections, and then making it ten times worse. Here we go. We are up and over that. Uh, we are heading towards the wildlife section. Now, I was told by Lado, who has done this map, there's one particular nasty bit coming up uh, that I'm a little bit concerned about. Uh, there's a turtle jump. The first turtle I am aware of having to deal with, um, so that's going to be fun. Uh, we've still got this low grip section. I should maybe have been going... Oh, it's difficult. I want to go faster because I don't want to just slide off unceremoniously, but I don't want to go too fast and make a silly error because I'm going way too fast on this path. Um, but we, it seems to be okay, this vehicle. We don't seem to be having too many problems. Uh, right. Through the uphill section we head. Are we heading towards the Orca? I think we are. Uh, so you can take slightly, a slightly shorter route. I'm just sticking on this path. It, it would look like... 
time-wise, it's probably about the same. I feel like going up here isn't too bad uh, an option. Right. Oh, there we go. Right. Sea life. Sea life section. Uh, and then we're on to party food section and then geometry section. Uh, I guess we've got to go over... Yeah, we've got to go on to the starfish. It should be fine up here. And then navigate our way over here. The cyborg is doing good. It's doing good so far. Uh, then we are on to a whale or something, I think. Don't know where the hell these things have come from. I uh, don't remember these being in beam. Right. So, as I said, I know about the turtle jump. Uh, that is the, the last bit of information I know on this map. Uh... I don't know whether, I don't know how far, I mean this car is, is decently quick, but of course being front wheel drive it will spin its wheels a bit trying to accelerate. Uh, now it's, I believe, where are we going to go? Let's be careful. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. This is the bit that we're going to fail on. This is the bit, 15 minutes in, that we are going to fail on with the Mistral. Let's just back it up. Do I want all the run-up in the world? Probably. Although I don't want... I want a lot of run-up, but I don't want to overshoot. Uh, how much further have we got to go? Actually, not that far. It's not that far to go. We might even be able to do it legit without cheating. Uh, but it all comes down to this scary jump. Oh, Mistral. <laughs> Come on. Here we go. Right, we want to go... Oh, hook in, hook in. Land on your wheels! Uh, now... Oh, it's rolled the wrong way. Uh, well... Oh, it's so close! It's so close. Wait, oh, 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 no, 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 don't roll that Don't roll over. I need you to roll up. Oh, you're really stuck, aren't you? <laughs> God damn it. That's such a hard jump. That's such a hard jump at this point on the course. Now, you're not supposed to node grab. Uh, unfortunately, we would be eliminated. So, I got up to the turtles without cheating. We are going to try to do the rest of the course uh, carrying on from here. I'm going to actually try and do the turtle jump. Uh, we'll, we'll try and figure it out. Uh, it's definitely doable. I think I hooked in a little bit too much. I think we need to stay a little bit more outwards. Oh, there you go. Whoa! No, and then I've just got to stop it. Yeah, it's... I hooked in too much. I hooked in too much on that one. God, that's such a mean section towards the end. Uh, so this, we have done some of the other uh, parkour maps. This is made by Spieler, uh, who has made some fantastic, well, made many fantastic maps, uh, made some, some fantastic car parkour ones. This one is not as technically demanding in terms of the sections. Uh, however, the demanding part is doing it all together perfectly, essentially. The car the parkour ones you're supposed to take checkpoints and so on on. This one here is supposed to be done in, in one clean sweep. So this is, uh, yeah, not quite as technically demanding a section, but trying to do it all in one go. Try, trying to get that far and then messing up on the turtles is, is agony. Uh, our car is terrible at this section. I think because it's front wheel drive and these are a little bobbly, it's every so often the front wheels are up in the air, like here. Oh, this is actually a problem for us. This section is surprisingly difficult. Uh, it wants to just spin the unloaded wheel. Uh, come on. There we go. I guess if you had a welded diff or a completely locked diff. But this is a race limited slip diff in this one. If you had some form of like welded diff, you would get away with it. There we go. We are over. Oh, onto the lilo. Maybe. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. It's fine. That section's a little bit steep for the front wheel drive hatch, but <laughs> we made it. We can bump our way. Oh, okay. That's bumpier than I thought it was. It's fine. We can bump our way over it. Uh, on to Donut. Could not see. Oh, we can rescue ourselves from there. We can. Could not see where the Donut quite began there. That was a little bit of a misjudge from me. Uh, we are over and heading towards... What the hell is this? It's a maze. Are we going into a maze? Uh, yeah, maybe? Oh, yes. Yes, we are. Uh, okay. That's a dead end. <laughs> at least we can't fall off at this point, right? We can get lost, but that's fine. That's a dead end. Uh, come on. Come on, car. Navigate your way through here. Can we figure out? That loops back on itself. That's a dead end. 
So, back it up. You would, again, you wouldn't want a big car for some of these. I mean, it's not, this isn't the worst to navigate. But again, this is a small vehicle in the grand scheme of things in Beam. So, uh, yeah, I can imagine some of, although some of the bigger vehicles would have trouble with other obstacles before we got to this point. That's not, it's not the most ridiculously demanding. Although it didn't look like a massive section, so I doubt it could be. Just something else to have to navigate through. Uh, that goes somewhere. Does this go somewhere? Well, this does go somewhere. That looks like a dead end. Does this look like a dead end? Yep. Uh, so we can turn around. Oop. Go up this one. And then that's a dead end. Well, we guessed and we were wrong. So we will go this one. You know this takes a corner. Ah, right, there we go. We're out of the maze. Well, it's no good having an exit than a route there. No one's going there. We found the exit. Into some more pipes. Uh, I'm hoping you're glass, because I can't... If you're not glass, we're stuffed. I don't know how we do it. I guess kind of jump from pipe to pipe. That would be very mean. It might be doable, but uh, certainly not going uphill like this. And more than once would be very mean. But there we go. We're up through the glass pipe. I saw we've got like a glitchy... Uh, looking section to go through. And then it doesn't look like there's too many more obstacles to do. Uh, right. That's fine. This is slightly... With the glass, it's just a slight warped perspective. Uh, but that's okay. And now we have this, like, stained glass almost effect. Or kind of stained glass geometry section to go through. This is maybe where we're going to have issues with our car choice. Uh, God, trying to figure out like depth perception here isn't actually very easy. Because they're all like solid colours, sticking up bits is really difficult to judge. What 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 is the height of some of these? Uh, I think if I just jump down here... Oh no. Can I... Can I free myself? Oh, that would be even worse point. You know what? I'm kind of glad that we've technically failed on the whole turtle jump. Because if I'd failed on that, that would be very frustrating. I mean, can I... No, nah, it's not going to dig itself out of that one. We're just going to give it a magic boop. Just, just... Whoop. Is that... That might not be enough even to get it free. God damn it, it needs more of a magic boop. Uh, whoop. Come on then. There we go. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> right, off we go. Oh, God. Yeah, this section is actually a little bit nasty for the Mistral. That's one of the more difficult bits for this car, but that's more to do with the vehicle I have selected than anything else. Uh, whoop, and over we go. Jump that part, jump that part. I mean, most of these jumps you can probably get away with first gear. By the looks of it, you don't need much more speed than that. Um, we are going to... We should have the grip for this. This shouldn't be too bad. We've got the tyres for it. It's not like it's a bad surface. So we will make these corners. That's okay. And then we can't be that far away from the exit. Oh. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, right, what are we doing here? Do we need to jump? I think we need to jump as such. We are going to need some momentum up here. Like that. Oh. Well done, rally car. Are you going to need... Oy, again, make sure we try and get the landing for this right. And up. Come on. Come on, little... Oh, that's a steep surprise part to finish. We're fine. The rally car soldiers on. Now we've got to climb up a hill. Keep that momentum up. Should be fine for us. We've got the suspension to deal with these. I might just slow it down a little bit. Because I don't want to bounce my way off. Uh, oh, God. Yep, doesn't all oh, this section here might be the death of my car. We're going to have to just... This is going to be a little bit abusive on the poor car, but we are going to have to just go for it. Because if I get stuck, I don't think we get going again here. Uh, this is a bad section for a front-wheel drive hatchback. Uh, it's just pulling itself across. Keep pulling yourself across. Don't have a wonky dismount. It did not. Oh, okay, so now we've just got to drive up the neon snaky bit, really. Hopefully, I mean, if it continues with this level of grip and this level of camber and everything, we should... I can't see any big issues. The path is wide enough. We have the turning, the steering. Uh, don't give us any more speed bumps because that bit is mean. It's not so steep as to have to be taken at speed. 
which is very nice. <laughs> don't want to have to be going up here high speed to make sure we don't run out of traction. That gives us me a little bit more confidence uh, in the climb. Whoa! Don't be an idiot. That was on me. No, we turned in just a fraction too much. Uh, right. Oh, God. I, I am not very when I I'm not very good at doing the smooth analog stick movements. Normally, it's sort of just the flicking of the stick, and that works on some stuff. But when you're trying to be super precise like there, less successful. And that is the finish line. There we go. It's only only, only cheated twice. Uh, the second one was a really dumb one. Uh, had I known that section, I guess we would have booted it a little bit far, a little bit, a little bit more. Wasn't aware of the um, difficulties of that section, shall we say? That's a, it's a really good fun map. If you like a challenge, like as I said, it's slightly more straightforward in terms of physical driving challenges than the parkour maps. However, to try and do that all without any resets. If you like that sort of challenge, is great. May well drive you mad if you're not a fan of that sort of challenge. Uh, but I mean, yeah, this this isn't even the perfect vehicle to really be doing be doing this. But it is it is capable. It is able to uh, climb up the map. It's a lot of fun. It, this thing this thing is is a lot of fun. And then we can go in the log flume on the way down. I don't think this map is uh, currently quite out uh, for everybody as of yet. Um, but uh, yeah. If I'm sure at some point Speedo will have it. I think if you, follow the, if you follow their Patreon, I think you might get access to it. Um, and it may well make its way to, to the public at, uh, at a later date. It's great fun, though. Really silly. Uh, <laughs> silly challenge to drive the vehicle, vehicles up here. Uh, maybe at some point I will stream trying to do it legit. Uh, minus cheating if I really fancy getting angry at Beam over silly little things. Uh, we almost we almost did it. I, it was the turtle jump was always going to be the problem bit, and it so nearly made it. I'm gutted. I, at least if I jumped off the whole thing, if I just cleared, got clean off the map, would have been fine. But uh, I didn't even get that far. Uh, it was just an embarrassing, an embarrassing silly death. Oh dear! Now we are going to be upside down. Uh, <laughs> This car, though, is awesome. I actually really like this bud. Forgot about it. I was just flicking through what vehicle I fancy driving and found this and hadn't. don't think I've done anything with it. Not for a long time. So, yeah, really cool. Really cool vehicle. Sort of a fun covert alternative, if you will. Uh, and the rally spec, always good to go driving with. But uh, there we go. Uh, on that note, that is going to be it for this uh, for this video. Christ, it picks up speed when it's upside down. Uh, whoop, it's alarmingly fast when it's upside down. Uh, <laughs> That's going to be it for, for this one. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.